Welcome to our lesson about editing blocks. Here I've got some geometry that represents a school desk. I'm going to use this geometry to create a block. Let's go to the Insert tab, select Create Block. Let's give our block a descriptive name. I'll call it School Desk. Now let's pick a base point. Click on Pick Point. I'll take the top left corner of the desk. Now let's select the geometry to include. Window Select, right click to finish the selection. And we're back in the definition window. Here's our preview. Let's opt to delete the original geometry. Allow Exploding and Scale Uniformly are checked, so let's click OK. Now I'm going to create a couple layers. Let's go to the Home tab. From the Layers panel, let's launch the Layers palette. Click Create Layer. And let's give it a descriptive name. I'll call it School Desk 1. For the color, we'll make it red. Let's create another layer now. I'll call it School Desk 2. And I'll make this layer blue. And let's click this X to close the Layer Properties Manager. Let's go to our first layer, the School Desk 1. And let's insert our block here. Insert tab, Insert Block. The insertion point we can specify on screen. Scale 1 to 1 is OK. OK. And let's left click to place our block about here. Let's make a few copies. Select the block with a left click, now right click and scroll to copy. Each left click will place a copy. And when we're done, right click and enter to close the copy command. Let's do the same for the School Desk 2 layer. Let's go to that layer. Now Insert tab, Insert tool. OK, left click to place. Let's select the block with a left click. Now right click and scroll to Copy Selection. Choose the Copy From point. And now each subsequent left click places a copy. Right click and enter to close the Copy tool. Because we created our block on layer 0, the block assumes the properties of the layer where we placed the block. Let's move on. We'll create one more layer. Go to the Home tab. Layers panel. Let's expand the Layers palette. New layer. And I'm going to call it Wall. The color will be green. Click OK. Select the layer and click the green check mark to make it the current layer. Let's close the layer palette. Here I can create a representation of the wall. I'll use the line tool. Something like this. Right click and enter to close the line tool. Let's go to the insert tab. Reference panel. Let's select edit reference. And now let's select a block. Here is our preview. Let's click OK to accept that selection. Notice that all inserted blocks have disappeared. Only our block is available. And it's exploded so that we can make modifications to the original geometry. Let's make a window selection. Press Delete. I'm going back to the Home tab now. Activate the Circle command. Object Snap Mode is toggled on. I'm going to change the rectangle seat to a round seat. Now let's select the circle and put it on layer 0. Go to the Layers panel and select the appropriate layer from the drop down menu. Now I'm going to window select and move this geometry a little bit. And let's save these changes. Edit Reference, Save Changes. AutoCAD lets me know that all reference edits are going to be saved. Let's click OK, and we're back in Model Space. And look at this. All instances of our block are appropriately updated. If you have a lot of standardized geometry or geometry that repeats, working with blocks is something that can save you a lot of editing time later on. This concludes our lesson about editing blocks.